So it's just been over two weeks since I released the video saying that I was no longer going to publish any content on my pet website and that the only thing I was going to do is update the old content. Well, for the past two weeks, that's exactly what we've been doing and I've got some data for you. So let's get into this. Hi and welcome back to the channel again. Before we get into today's video, I just want to announce that I have actually released a second YouTube channel. It's called Bite Size Carl, and it's gonna have a lot of shorter content on. Short, snappy, quick videos, still within WordPress, blogging, website, building passive income, that kind of good stuff, but just in a shorter, snappier format. It's a channel that I'm gonna play around with a little bit and add some different content to what I usually put on this channel. So please head over to my new channel, Bite Size Carl, subscribe, click that little bell icon, and you'll be notified when I release some new videos on there. The link is in the description. But for today's video, yeah, I thought I'd give you an update on updating all content. So for the past two weeks, myself and one of my writers have been going into all the articles on Hutch and Cage, the ones that were underperforming. So we've been doing the worst 50 performing articles for the previous month. So we've gone into our Google Analytics and we searched for the worst performing articles within the last 28 day period. We've then gone into each article and we've had a look at the subheadings, the FAQs. So you'll remember I did a video on using schema markup for FAQs. So anything in the article that we could turn into a question, we've done that and we've turned them into FAQ schema markup questions to hopefully try and get some extra rankings and positions within the SERP index. We've also had a look at the H2 headings and see if we could optimize them a little bit, added some more internal links and some external links. We've been using Link Whisper to actually add some of those extra links. And then after completing that, we've just updated the article, gone to Google Search Console, and manually index that article again. So basically saying to Google, hey, we've done some work on this article, we've updated it, we go crawl it and see if it's worthy of a better position. So that's what we've done. We tackled 50 of them and I've actually managed to get around 30 fully complete and left for two weeks to bring you some information, some data. So I've got some results for you. If we head over to the computer now, we'll take a look at some of the findings. Okay, so you can see a little snapshot here of the spreadsheet that I've been using to keep track of all the articles that I've been updating. And you can see on the left-hand side here, I've made a few notes. So we had 36 updated articles that's been running for around two weeks now. So it's enough time to give them some chance to have either an improvement or a decrease in the SERP rankings. So in total, we had nine no movers. We had four articles that actually went down and we had 23 that increased. I can see in the middle there, you can see that all the ones in green, you can see there's some really good improvements on there. Now, one of the conclusions or the findings that we've seen from this updating of all content is that all the articles that we've updated within this 36 that were product related all went down. And also anything that was health or vet related. So for instance, if it was a medical condition about a rabbit, then those two also went down. But all the informational content, so just general information content answering questions within Google, all went up. Now you can you know, read into that, you can make of that what you wish. We know there's been a lot of product updates recently. All my product articles are pretty good, so I'm confident the content is, you know, it's, it's okay. It's not world-class, but it is okay. It's certainly not classed as spammy or junk content, but yet all of them out of these 36 that we did went down. So what I'll do is I'll continue to update these articles. I think what I might do is I might go for primarily the product ones next. I might update uh, 10 or 15 product ones, and then it'll be easier to track and just see again, if I update 15 product articles, give it two weeks and they all 15 go down, then obviously this new algorithm update or this broad core update has significantly affected uh, my product related content. And if that's the case, then I may stop doing that and I might just do information going forward. So I think you can see from this chart that pretty much it's been worthwhile doing. Now, some of these have had quite a good 
jump up. You can see one right there at the top. It was at position 37. It only had 14 visits in the last 28 days. And then now it's up at position 18. So that's pretty good to see. There's one a little bit further down there that was lingering or around position seven, and that's jumped up to position three. Now that is going to significantly have a, an increase in traffic. We know the bottom of page one, hardly anybody ever clicks it, but within the top three, that is certainly now going to get some clicks. And then we've had some real winners. There's one here, you can see it had 11 visits in a month, and it was sitting at position 21. And from spending 40, 50 minutes updating that article, we added five FAQs onto this article, pretty much nothing else, just adding five FAQs. And we've gone from position 21 to two. So I'm really interested to leave that now for 28 days and see what the traffic is on that. See how much we've gone up from 11 visitors at position 21 to now position two, how many visitors does that bring? And finally, one more right there at the bottom was at the position 10, so it was barely on the first page of Google. And again, was only getting six visitors in a month. And now it's sitting at position two. So very interesting findings after just two weeks. Hopefully they will continue to improve and slowly climb up the rankings. So these 23 that have improved, maybe they will improve even more. Who knows? But certainly it's something I'm going to continue to do and keep you all updated. So I think you can see from the findings there that it's certainly worth investing time rather than money into some of your old content. Updating the content, refreshing it, just looking at the article with fresh eyes. Remember, some of these articles may have been published two years ago, so the information might be incorrect, the images might be slightly dated, and just sometimes they need a little bit of TLC. The, the links may no longer be valid. There's lots of things you can do. So we've been spending, on average, around an hour per article. So it's not took us that long and it's not been that much expense for me to go into these articles and actually refresh them. And I think for the amount of work that we've done on them and to see an average increase in the SERP rankings by around 10 positions, I think it's certainly worth spending one hour per article. Now, I'm not saying you do this every month. I am suggest maybe once every three or six months, have a look at your Google Analytics, see if it's your oldest post that are underperforming. Remember, if it's your newest post, then leave them, give them time to bed in. But if it's your oldest post, then maybe it's worth spending an hour just to see if you can improve that content. Yeah, I mean, you can't ever be improving your content, can you? So it's definitely time well spent. And if you're outsourcing this project, it's not costing that much to update them. $10, $15 to refresh and update an article that jumps up 10 position in the SERP rankings. I think that's worth the investment and certainly something I'm going to continue with on this site until the site sells. The site is going up for sale. I will be releasing a video all around that very soon. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to keep updating that content and I will keep you updated on the progress of it. So remember, please subscribe to Bite Size Carl. Take a look at those short videos on there and hopefully you like that channel just as much as you seem to like this one. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.